So we're here at the Wheat Sheaf Shopping Centre in Rochdale chatting to X Factor star from this year, Carolyn Poole. Hello, Carolyn. Hello. So thank you so much for coming down so soon after being on the show yourself. How was that experience for you? Was it crazy? It was crazy, yeah. It was good, though. It was a good experience. I'm glad I did it. And, uh, yeah, it's been a bit mental since. All good fun. Thanks for having me. OK, well, we'll talk in a second about what you're up to and what the X Factor has been like for you. But we're here for the Xmas Factor at the Wheat Sheaf Shopping Centre. Why do you think these competitions are so important for young people and young singers to get involved in? Uh, well, I, I did a lot of competitions like this when I was young. I was always dragging my mum and dad around to different shopping centres, different holiday parks, doing different um, competitions. And for me, as a, you know, when I was young, it was really good starting to build my confidence and not just um, to be on stage singing. It helped me, you know, at school. It helped me, you know, with my self-esteem. It helped me, um, you know, just push through them barriers, you know, and, and know that you can achieve something even though you're feeling nervous or a bit scared and stuff. So for me, it was really good with my confidence. So I think that competitions are really good for the young people, you know, to start to, um, to give them a bit of oomph, to, you know, and not to be afraid of going for something even though they're a bit scared of it. So they're definitely good. So you started off in the shopping centres dragging your family around then saying I want to do this and so look where you are now so what's happening with you after the X Factor obviously you did great in 2011 even better this year on X Factor and what's your career like now? Um, it, you know what it's, it's done me a lot of good the X Factor I know I, I came out in the first week controversially you know and it, it, but you know at the same time it, it still was brilliant for me to do because I sing country music and in the UK you know we don't really accept that as a genre of music that we listen to all the time because there's not a lot of country people here <laughs> but um, for me it drew a lot of attention to the my style of music um, and now it's it's given me the opportunity to go to Nashville to record so I'm away in America in the new year which is brilliant I cannot wait so I'm doing all the writing camps and the songwriting camps over there recording over there so it has given me nothing but good opportunities so I'm, I'm thankful for it and it's been brilliant so you're here tonight to be a judge and also to give our own contestants a little bit of advice so we'll get back to you later will you hang around for a little while absolutely I will Lovely. thank you Caroline we'll see you later on is still here with us as well any tips on how to give you best performance and also how to deal with any nerves because surely everyone gets nervous um this sounds so cliche but to just enjoy it and you know don't focus on being judged or being marked just go out there and enjoy your performance you know mean what you say the words you're singing just think about what you're singing and um and just enjoy yourself how are you feeling before the competition? I'm really nervous and really excited at the same time. Caroline, what would you say is a nice bit of advice for someone who's just starting out, obviously, as, as Rachel is, but wants to get better and really hone her craft? I'd say just listen to as much, as many genres of music as you can and just, um, you know, push yourself a bit more. Don't stick to singing the ballads and, you know, go out there and do, do some up-tempo ones because that'll make your ballads better. How did you become such a good singer? Like... Do you know what? I used to just practice and practice and practice. I used to put on my favourite singers when I was younger and just hear that high note and just keep practicing. I used to come home every night from school. I'm a lot older than you. I used to put my dad's cassette in his car and close the car door on his drive and so I could sing as loud as I could then without anybody hearing and just practice because sometimes it sounded awful, like so awful. And I used to, used to practice and practice and practice until one day I was like, oh, I've hit that note and then I used to perfect it and then I'd really just try and get, get used to my own voice. And and I wouldn't try and be like anyone else, just kind of try and find out who you are and what your voice does naturally and don't emulate somebody else. Listen to them and, you know, and, and take tips from them, but just let your voice become its own. That's what I'd say. OK, we're here with Remu, one of the Xmas Factor finalists today. And you've got a guitar. I think you might be one of the only finalists who actually plays music, uh, plays an instrument as well. So tell us a little bit about your style. Well, I can't really do anything with the backing tracks because I don't feel right without a guitar. It's kind of like a friend on the stage. So you don't feel like you're on your own? Yeah. 
Caroline, you'll know that feeling, will you? Yeah, you're the Lucy Spragan of this competition then, because that's what she was like. She never wanted to do anything with a backing track. Lucy from X Factor, and she's a songwriter. Do you write, do you write your own songs as well? Sometimes. Yeah, well, you should stick. You should stay doing that, practice and practice and practice. Cause that's brilliant what you do, and um, you know, just make sure that you feel like one with your guitar and you're not too conscious about what's going on around you. Just go out there and enjoy it, and you know, play your heart out. You'd be brilliant. Thank you. Because <laughs> it is about just standing out, isn't it? Because there's so many singers and if you've got something different and you've got an extra talent, then surely that makes you a little bit more unique. Yeah, because you know what, for me, I mean, I started practicing the guitar and I, myself as a performer, I never felt um, that I was performing right with the guitar in my hand. I felt awkward. You know, and other people are the other way that they can't do it unless they've got something in their hand. But for me, I'm quite expressive when I sing. So for me, to, I felt restricted when I had the guitar. But, you know, in another way, some people are just excel when they play, you know, and they become as one and like Lucy did on X Factor and I'm sure you will. So it's brilliant. Yeah, it's definitely good to be different. Good advice. Yeah. <laughs> good luck tonight. Thank you. Oh, but I'm gonna try. going on at the moment but you know as it's off the back of X Factor it's um, a lot more commercial I'm hoping to do a lot smaller intimate acoustic gigs when I come back home um, mid-year so so that's what the future holds for me. So despite you not winning the X Factor it doesn't matter at all you can still go on to amazing things can't you? Not winning I was out first week. <laughs> no it, it was robbed you were robbed. <laughs> it's brilliant you know these shows are really good and they are what they are they're you know they're entertainment value but at the same time they do draw a lot of attention to you and you know it, it's brilliant for me because a lot of people sat up and listened to me singing the country music you don't get that a lot in this country you know that genre of music it's all very urban and you know I'm not cool at all I don't rap <laughs> which is not good you know <laughs> so you know for me it was really good because I got to do what I wanted to do and now on the back of it I can go record where I want to record so it's been nothing but good and Gary Barlow was your mentor do you still keep in touch yeah he's um he was brilliant and he is brilliant he helps me when I need some help gives me some advice he's on holiday at the minute so I'm not pestering him but um but yeah he's brilliant and will we get an album from you and a tour hopefully in 2013 I really hope so yeah I mean that's what I'm recording I, I signed as a songwriter when I was 21 so I've been songwriting for the people since then so now I'm just con solely concentrating on myself taking a little trip over to America and Sweden and I'll just be um you know concentrating on recording but definitely more gigs and um, you know, definitely more shows in the new year. We will follow you. Thank you so much for being part of this. Thank you, Carol. Thanks, love. Thank you very much.